Hey, what's up guys? The Sen here, bringing you another weapon comparison video. And today we'll be going over two of my favorite weapons as of right now. The Midnight Coup, which is earned through Onslaught. And the Fatebringer Hand Cannon, which is earned through Master Vault of Blast Templar Challenge. So, this video is just for PvE, not PvP. I'm not that good in PvP, so... We'll just stick to what I know. So we're just gonna go over my role really quick for my midnight coup. So I'm rocking small bore. Eh, I kind of wish I kind of wish my mag option was a little bit better. Honestly, it's like for PVE, yeah, extended mag is good. Um, but I was hoping for like tack mag or even actorize rounds. I may switch this just because of like, but then again, the reload speed. But anyways, it's also payload, and this right here. Is what made Midnight Coup amazing in PvE. So Kinetic Tremors is essentially, you know, I'm pretty sure, you know, for those of you who do know, but I'll explain it as if you don't for people who are coming back to the, you know, into the live experience. Um, Kinetic Tremors is essentially a perk where if I keep rapidly hitting a target, it emits a shockwave. It's it's a kinetic weapons version of incandescent bolt shot. It's that for them. And it's really good against clearing up, you know, trash mobs, but its main focus is putting huge dents into big targets. Um, that's what makes, I think, Midnight Crew such a contender against an adept hand cannon such as uh, Time Lost Fatebringer. But let's go ahead and mess around with uh, Midnight Crew first. Um, I was kind of chilling here, but as you can see, like, it looks good, sounds good. I love this thing um primarily though um the big the big competition is that it it go it has to go up against uh fate loss kind of, uh fate bringer but <laughs> my tongues are tied um i feel like where midnight crew wins i will give it like an a right now is which one is easier to get midnight crew obviously you can you can attune it with shacks and just grind out um onslaught until you get one preferably a shiny you, a shiny good roll is is also very nice um but for me personally i always try to go with explosive payload on my hand cannons just because it's very good against mages and bosses and it shreds through miners and red bars and things like that um Fatebringer, its biggest selling point is you know it does have explosive payload in firefly firefly i love but after, but one thing I will say in tougher content, um, the explosion doesn't do as much against um, bigger enemies like that. For example, it's good against miners and red bars, but not um, you know tankier guys. And I think that's, for example, where kinetic tremors does kind of get more bonus points with me as well. But you know, to be honest though as well, Baybringer, it's an adept, which means when you master work it, it's gonna get stab bumps across the board, and then adept big one spec is what really just makes it still such a contender. I like, for example, like Kinetic Tremors Explosive and Kinetic Firefly, it's so good on Midnight Coup. But Baybringer is just such a workhorse gun as well that with explosive payload. And then even if Firefly isn't working, I can still do, I can, you know, switch it off and just do Kill Clip Explosive. And then that way I can kill a red bar. Now I got Kill Clip to make me, to make it so hitting the, the tougher guys, you know, I'm doing a little bit more damage. Um, something that small goes a long way, especially in like day one raid situations, it's just high end content. So, you know, they're both still very good, but I, I just feel like they both kind of, you know, you know t give or take against each other you know that's that's hence the verse is like what what's truly the the best one quote unquote if someone were to say you know if i were to be thrown into a day one raid tomorrow and i can only bring one on paper i would have to go with fate bringer obviously a dead big ones explosive still no big deal um but what i like about midnight coup though is its biggest draw is is just easier to get. Fatebringer has such a time gate on it that by the time you get a, a you know a god roll midnight coup, that's 
you know, with the right roles, it can hang in, in day one content. It can hang in hard, hard, harder content. I used it yesterday in um, Legend Onslaught, um, and it was just, it was shredding. Um, you know, now, to really get to the cool stuff, on the fun factor, been, on the fun factor, it's just cool to have Midnight Cool back. Like, it still sounds good, it feels good. Like, it was the pinnacle Destiny 2 hand cannon, while Fatebringer is the pinnacle, it was like such an iconic Destiny 1 hand cannon. And Fatebringer still looks and sounds amazing. Um, with this little thing on the side, I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, like, both, both, both are fun. Both are good. In terms of fun, both get an ass out of me. Like, a straight-up Sonic S rank out of me. Um, so that, I'm not good at, like, you know, numbered scores. Like, I still think Fatebringer and PvE is, like, a 4.5 out of 10. And I would say Midnight Coup is a B. It's a B for sure. Because, like I said, it's, you know, it's not a depth. It's not craftable. Uh, I don't really like craftable weapons. Um... I have a couple because, of course, you know, I do day ones and hard contests, so I don't want to be behind. But I just like the thrill of just going for just a, a god roll. Um, I think personally, the bog weapons don't need. Um, can I see them getting a rework and getting, you know, origin traits and stuff? But um, I feel like they don't need to because they're just that. Um, it's just that good. Um, so, yeah, so for sure. Um, but yeah, personally, I say go for both. Go for both. They're very good. Like I said, especially if you could just land the shiny version. Because a shiny run with good rolls is for sure a keeper. Like this is gonna be Yeah, this is this is gonna this is gonna hang. For sure. I'm not sure if I did it, but even if I compare them stat wise, like yeah, Midnight Ku is behind. But the handling though is like it's it's still really good. Still very, very good. Um but yeah, overall though, give Midnight Coup. Um, and for harder content, Midnight Coup is okay, but of course Fatebringer is just it's 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 it's, it's still the, it's still that hand cannon. So yeah, that's my like quick little review. I didn't think I wanted to do anything too crazy. But yeah, I would say like they're both really fun, but Midnight Coup is like the uh you know, it's a fun gun, but for harder content, you know, gotta go with the Fatebringer. So if you enjoyed this video, as always, a like is always super appreciated. And definitely leave a comment in regards to what your favorite hand cannon is or what's your thoughts between the two. Even though there's there's plenty of other cannons. I was, it's funny, though, because we now have... It's not available anymore, but it is kind of weird to go in my vault and see DFA and, you know, Midnight Cool kind of back. So it kind of brings back that, uh, that D2 vanilla feeling. So, But with that being said, I will see you guys out in the wild and continue to enjoy the Into the Light experience. Peace.